Hi everyone, welcome to Chalchitra Talks. I'm Mani. And this week I want to recommend to you a book by E.M. Foster, Where Angels Fear to Tread. The title of the book has been taken from a quote by Alexander Pope, Fools Rush In Where Angels Fear to Tread. And it was uh, Foster's first novel and he published it when he was just 26. I discovered E.M. Foster through his other well-known works like um, A Passage to India and A Room with a View. So uh, by the time I picked up Where Angels Fear to Tread, my expectations were already very high. Thi. So I have to admit that I read this book two times before I actually realized how beautiful and amazing the story is. The story is actually a weird uh, combination of tragedy and comedy. So what happens is that E.M. Foster picks up a bunch of well-bred British, sophisticated British people and he exposes them to a situation that arouses some unexpected and violent reactions from them. Uh, this all starts when um, a widow marries a young Italian who is several years her junior and they are very angry about it but cannot do anything. And then she dies during childbirth. And this bunch decides that it is their duty to rescue her child from its father. And this leads to a series of events which is both amusing as well as tragic from a certain perspective. The thing that I love about A.M. Foster and his writing is how he writes these different characters and then manages to depict their individuality, individual way of being without any harassment. And with his dry and understated wit, he manages to depict diverse and different cultural tendencies so accurately with humor. For example, there's this instance in the book where he writes about Italy and he writes, um, there is something majestic in the bad taste of Italy. It is not the bad taste of a country which knows no better. It has not the nervous vulgarity of England or the blinded vulgarity of Germany. It observes beauty and chooses to pass it by, but it attains to beauty's confidence. Also, a lot of us know of Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. But if there was one character that I wished was as admired as Mr. Darcy, if not more, I wish it were Philip from Where Angels Fear to Tread. His realization that his idea of romance is false and um, his transformation into somebody who understands love and humanity is something that is at the heart of this story. And it touches a chord with you because I think sometimes some of us are, I mean, at least I am, as insensitive as he can be. So you can also listen to this book on Audible which is an amazing app for audiobooks. I personally really like audiobooks because I feel they're very convenient. Um, you can listen to them anywhere while doing anything. And I also feel at a time when there is so much content, so many books to be consumed, audiobooks are a great help. And there is a 30 day trial period that is available for the Audible app. And we have shared the link of the same in the description box below. So you can check it out there. Coming back to the book now, um, where Angels Fear to Tread, I feel, is a beautiful setup of an upper class and its need for making regular appearances, making decisions for other people, and then getting validation for the same. Relationships are not one clean line. They are tangled up in knots. And this book beautifully sums it up. I hope you liked this week's recommendation. And if you did, you can let me know in the comment section below. And I will be back again with another recommendation next week.